Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about your bedding, how often you need to be changing it and all the reasons why you need to be paying attention to it because it can and does contribute to skin issues like acne breakouts. For me personally, a major game changer in my sleep quality and the health of my skin was over a year ago, I got a new pillow and it made all of the difference. I'm gonna talk in today's video about why your pillow is so important but for me getting a new pillow made a huge difference and you guys know I'm a huge fan of the sleep and glow pillow they are sponsoring a portion of today's video and I'll put the link in the description box you guys as well as a discount code first up let's talk about your pillowcase you need to be changing your pillowcase at least once a week and if you have acne consider changing it more frequently why well pillowcases they harbor sweat skin and hair oils as well as if you are a side or stomach sleeper, you're gonna invariably drool a little bit in your sleep, and so you have saliva there, and that starts harboring bacteria, mold, and whatnot. So it's recommended that you swap out your pillowcase at least once a week, but honestly bump it up more frequently, especially if you have acne. Um, it can make a huge difference. Pillowcases also trap uh, skincare products, uh, that you know can create a aggravating irritating film on there sleeping on a silk pillowcase can make a huge difference too it's less likely to trap moisture and bacteria and things and it also is smooth on the skin if you are a side sleeper speaking of side sleepers the sleep and glow pillow is something that you need to check out it is a, unlike any other pillow out there on the market and that it is designed to support your face with side sleeping to prevent squishing of your skin and your face and your cheek, for example. And their pillowcases, you can get a silk pillowcase as well to have that smooth finish. But this reduces wrinkling on the skin, morning puffiness. And if you're somebody who's been sleeping on a pillow that squishes your face, that can irritate your skin and lead to flares of acne. You actually need to change out your pillow too from time to time. Every pillow should come with a um, use-by date, and it depends on the material that the pillow is made out of. Yeah, polyester, like cheap polyester pillows or synthetic down, they last anywhere honestly from six months to 24. Sleep and Glow uses high quality memory foam, so it's gonna last five years. Another reason I'm so happy with this pillow. And the memory foam molds to your face if you're a side sleeper to ideally cradle it. And then there's a central head cradle that's perfect for keeping you lying on your back. I've talked about how sleeping on your back can help reduce puffiness. And you all mentioned how hard it is to get yourself to stay sleeping on your back. This pillow can really help with that. Yeah, if you've been using, say, your polyester pillow for a long, long time, chances are it's not supporting you at nighttime. And when it's not supporting your face properly, that can lead to wrinkles and puffiness in the morning. Not only that, but you're not sleeping well throughout the night. And so when you wake up, you're going to, it's gonna show up on your face. Dark under eye circles, puffiness, and, and whatnot. So pay attention to the expiration date, so to speak, of your pillow. Beyond the memory foam though, the reason I love my Sleep and Glow pillow so much is that it was designed in collaboration with orthopedists, and the shape of the pillow is such that it supports your neck and your shoulder girdle, and if you're a side sleeper, it, it cradles your face without having your neck crick, so to speak. You have better body alignment with this pillow at nighttime, so you're gonna sleep better and the quality of your sleep will improve. I mean, for me, it has made a huge difference. As I mentioned earlier, the Sleep and Glow pillow makes it a lot easier to stay sleeping comfortably on your back, which can support a better night's sleep. But for those of you who are side sleepers, the patented shape with the side cradles keeps your skin afloat and will help prevent wrinkling and morning puffiness. And pillows themselves also can trap bacteria and dust mites. If you're somebody who has allergies, then this can really be an issue for you. Or if you're somebody who has eczema like myself, dust mites can be a trigger of an eczema flare. So pay attention to your pillow. Another reason I like the Sleep and Glow pillow so much is that it, the memory foam is actually um, antimicrobial. So it doesn't harbor bacteria and things like that. 
What about sheets? You wanna change out your sheets around every one to two weeks. Because again, sheets, just like your pillowcase, they harbor your sweat, your oils, moisture, bacteria, and they can really cause skin problems. Not only can your sheets and your pillowcase, if washed infrequently, contribute to irritation, but they also can cause acne flares. But there's also another skin condition called folliculitis. Uh, basically, the bacteria on the surface of our skin or bacteria trickle down into the hair follicle, cause these acne-like bumps. It can be very itchy, very uncomfortable, and it can be a recurrent issue. You have to go on antibiotics sometimes for it. So it's not fun. And one of the things that you have to do to break the cycle of folliculitis is pay attention to your linens, sheets, pillowcases, and towels, making sure that you are washing them frequently. And again, in the case of your pillowcase and your sheets, you wanna change them out um, regularly. The pillow at least once a week and the sheets once a week, no more than every, every two weeks though. And your towels, I suggest I suggest clean towels each time. You guys know personally, I don't even use a towel and that shocks people, but I haven't used a towel in years, a, a bath towel. I, I don't need one, I just air dry. And that has made, I mean, I never had body acne, so I can't say it's made a difference for me, but definitely consider it. Now, when it comes to laundering your sheets, fabrics, etc., what kind of laundry detergent should you be using? I suggest using a laundry detergent that is free of dyes and fragrance. These two things are the most common culprits uh, when it comes to irritation and flares of eczema. It's these two ingredients in detergents. When people are having rashes um, and they suspect it's their detergent, that's one of the first things I say, is switch out to fragrance-free, dye-free laundry detergent. It can help. Skip fabric softener. I know it's popular to have soft towels, but fabric softener can definitely aggravate acne and irritation on the skin as well as eczema. The dyes in fabric softener, and it kind of leaves a residue on the fabric to make it softer. It's almost like conditioner for fabric. And that can get on your skin and cause all kinds of irritation, no matter the formulation. So I say skip fabric softener and just go with laundry detergent. Not exactly directly related to laundry, but if you have long hair like I do, I suggest you not go to bed with wet hair because the moisture from your hair, from your wet hair can get trapped in the pillowcases and the sheets and things and, and cause problems harboring bacteria, mold and whatnot. So make sure that your hair has time to air dry and that can definitely help a lot as far as the health of your skin. I mean, it's a subtle change, but it can make a difference. And of course, never go to bed with makeup on uh, at nighttime. Makeup, it's not, you know, you need to take that off at the end of the day, give your skin some time to, not to breathe, because it's, you know, it's not like it, it has lungs or anything, but you really need your your skin at nighttime. There are some regenerative things that actually do go on at night, um, coping with some free radical damage and things I've talked about in other videos. But having makeup on the surface of the skin still, it's it can create a lot of irritation, but it can transfer onto your pillowcases and sheets and things. Um, yeah, now that becomes more challenging if you're somebody who likes to nap during the daytime. Uh, you know, you, you may not want to take off your makeup before taking a nap. So be mindful of if you are a frequent nap taker, you might want to change out your pillowcase more frequently. But that is yet another reason why I love my Sleep and Glow pillowcase, even though I'm not really a nap taker, um, is that it doesn't it doesn't harbor films of cosmetics, skincare products and whatnot, it's much more hygienic. The other thing that you might want to consider doing is to go to bed with your hair up. I sleep in a, in a, in a silk bonnet at nighttime and that makes a huge difference for me as far as hair breakage and whatnot. But if you don't have one of those, try and keep your hair up. And the reason for this is that if you let your hair lay out over your pillow, um, your pillow can absorb the, the natural oils of your hair and hold on to those. And then later on that can transfer onto your skin and just cause a lot of aggravation and irritation. It can facilitate more bacteria and things. So try and sleep with your hair pinned up if you're able to. 
I hope these tips for linens and linen care were useful to you guys. Click the link in my description box to check out the Sleep and Glow pillow. You guys, I am not being dramatic here. That pillow, I, I feel as though I owe my life to that pillow because it has made such a difference in the quality of my sleep. And regardless of what you put on your skin, the serum, the toner, the spray, the essence, what have you, if you are not getting good quality sleep, it's all out the window. Sleep is so important for your body and your health, your longevity, your stress levels. Yeah, check it out, you guys. It has made a huge difference, and anytime I can share anything with you guys that's gonna help potentially improve your sleep, I'm gonna talk about it. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.